guess what? Ah! Look what I just made. Oh my god, I love it so much. It took me about three tries and six hours later. But honestly, so good. And I think it's super unique looking. It's perfect for my wedding day. I'm gonna hold my phone mint gum maybe some lipstick and it's just so perfect i love how it turned out and i think it's just so pretty i'm gonna link everything down below if you keep watching you can learn how to make one too ah, love it so first of all we will need to create the framework the skeleton of the purse the way I've created it was I first created the skeleton and then kind of weaved in back and forth and back and forth the inner parts of the purse. So this is the number of pearl beads and size of the beads that you'll need for this project. I ordered these off of AliExpress. You're also going to need some metal wire. Uh, you can use fishing wire as well, but I find that it's not as sturdy. Um, this metal wire is in 0.3 millimeters, um, and I, I would say it's pretty good. And I got this off of Amazon, so I'll link it down below. First of all, we're going to start off with a circle of six, six millimeter beads, and then we're just going to create this kind of pattern all the way down. I'm gonna put in six. So to loop it together, you're just going to take the last two, loop it in, like so. And now you have your first little circle. And then next, you're we're going to create these two, so that that will be the 12 millimeter beads. Put one on each side. And then followed by another two six millimeters. Same thing to enclose, make sure it's looped in together. And then pull. There we go. So there's going to be two sets of 12 millimeters. So another 12. Six millimeters. Like so. And now we're going to move on to two fourteen millimeters. Then we're going to be doing just one of the 16 millimeters. Here we have two, two, and just one of the 16 millimeters. So for the 16 millimeters, it's instead of looping it together, we're going to loop it with one six millimeters on each and then a 12 millimeter to close the circle. So we'll continue on the bottom with 12 millimeters and then two six millimeters to close the circle. So we're just going to continue on and put about 13 rows of the 12 millimeters. Okay, so what, now that you're on your 13th uh, bead, we're going to mimic the same exact pattern as we created here. A 12 millimeter. Bring it for reference. So we're closing the loop but backwards now. So in a six mil 
and then a 16. I'm going to close the circle with two six millimeters. Close the circle. Okay, so make sure that this mimics this exactly. And then we're just gonna follow the rest of this pattern. Okay, so once we get to the final um, 12 millimeter, we're just going to close the skeleton with a six, six millimeter circle. What I like to do is, since I have leftover wire, I'm just going to continue it on as long as I can. So from here, we're going to start, we're going to start integrating the inner components of the beads. So instead of just capping it off here, we're going to continue it on this way. So what you want to do is make sure that the wire is circled or closed at this point. So that's four. I'm just gonna add all of this to one side. And then close the circle. Instead of closing the circle at the top, we're going to close the circle on the side here. Once again, you're going to continue this pattern all the way. So 12 millimeters, 14, 16, loop it in, back and forth, loop it in, back and forth. And I'm just going to keep weaving it in and out on each side. To continue on with this, you have the one I'm going to include here. And then we will close the circle with the two at the bottom. On the other side, we're going to close this circle. And it'll look something like that. So since you already have the one here, we're going to just loop this in there. And one 12 millimeter. Okay. Close the circle with two six millimeters. Okay. And we're just going to keep on matching this exact same pattern all throughout. Keep going down. Just gonna speed up the process here. When you get to the bottom, you just wanna make sure that you, so once you put in your 16 mil here, you want to make sure that you mimic this exact pattern. So there is one six mil there. I'm gonna add one six mil here. this in here and similar to this pattern we're going to circle in with this uh, 12 millimeters that we had as our backbone
and okay. And now it'll just have a nice little corner here. Make sure everything is tight. You don't want any loose looseness anywhere. And the way I like to reinforce all of this is to just keep following the skeleton. So just loop it back in here. To just keep on going. Okay, so now we're going to continue up here with the same exact pattern. And then this is close the circle with two six mils. So I think the best way to continue on is to just here, you know, twist it onto each other. Okay, so you'll have something that looks like that. So that we want it to be very seamless. We don't want anything to stick out or fall apart. I think this is a good option. Just gonna keep going. Okay. And we'll just keep on continuing on with the pattern. So we have the 16. Now we're gonna go with the 14. Add that in. Close the circle with two sixes. Okay, so once you get to here where you've uh, finished up this row and you want to start, you know, connecting these ones, you look at this one through in here, close the circle with another two six mils. Okay, like that, and pretty much weave this one in, put two, weave this one in, put two, and Okay, this is the last bit. Okay, you can string in some beads to make a strap or you can buy the ones with the clasp. Uh, to have like a metal strap, that would be cute. I think for me, I will do the beaded strap. And that's all there is to it. Um, very simple, very easy to make, a bit time consuming, but totally worth it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Um, if you decide to make one, show me a picture. Um, and if you like more of this type of content, be sure to follow, subscribe, like, hit that follow button, all that stuff for more DIY content. Happy DIY!